I talk, I spend time talking about kind of the pedagogy of web-based collaboration and what the affordances are of a tool like Hypothesis. So I mentioned link, um, like making student thinking visible is one, one segue, I guess I give to introduce showing them the tool. And then also this um, Philip Candy's idea of linking thinking, the idea that um, within the margins of a text or, or um, something you can't do in a hard copy text is provide a hyperlink to another article on the web. So I talk about linking thinking as something that another affordance of web-based annotation is students can be linking to other articles and resources on the web. And that, that also gives them a new way to demonstrate their, that they're making connections between what they're reading and other resources out there, like connected learning, right? So I, I kind of tell that story. And then I introduce hypothesis by just showing example pages online that have been annotated. So I refer to the marginal syllabus. I don't know if people, they work closely with hypothesis, um, but it's a teacher professional development program where educators use hypothesis to annotate articles about equity in education. So I just use, um, use the mar a few readings from the marginal syllabus project just to give people like the 10,000 foot view of this is what the tool looks like. Here's, what, here's an annotated page. And then I kind of pivot into here's some instructional uses of the tool, continuing to show example um, web pages that have been annotated as part of assignments in higher ed.